what one thing what social media has done is that every single individual they capture their best moments and put those online so they always show you the happiness they always show you the best pictures the best smiling faces the reality is is that what people don't know is that that took 10 attempts to get it perfect before they actually put it online okay so we're in this zamana now we're in this time this era this this uh, phase of history where what happens is is that we have the ability to put those things out into the public which seem perfect honestly right you have all these celebrities and these big big people who have great followings and they all complain of having dip not all a lot of them have complained of having depression anxiety and all these things where we fall for it where we fall for it is that we think that they have a perfect life so you might have someone who has exceptionally amount of large money of mo uh, amount of money but yet they think of themselves uh, I, and us we look at them and think they have such a perfect life but they're far from that i had a meeting with one individual i don't want to mention too much because obviously it's private and this much i will say is i was saying to him that many a people they present such a great face outside it's actually called a facade in english a face that you present yourself as perfect but when the person lays down in bed at night they cry themselves to sleep because they wish they could be someone else because they hate who they really are the person then said this statement he goes how did you know my life he's a person that earns maybe 150,000 pound a year multiple properties good couple of sports cars married kids everything but he does not like who he is so if he goes now from 50 grand more to now he goes 200 grand he's still not going to find happiness how about quarter of a million how about 300 grand i mean when does it come a point in the person's life where he says alhamdulillah i'm happy when happiness has to come from within this is why the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned ليس الغنى عن كثرة العرض ولكن الغنى غنى النفس having many of the furnishings of the dunya is not going to make you happy it's not happiness true wealth is what that you feel happy you have content you feel happy within yourself that is what you call real wealth just because we see so much are pulling up in an expensive car looking all good trust me if that person is going to sleep at night thinking to themselves i hate who i am i cannot stand to look at myself in the mirror i always have this negative thought about myself then money and cars mean nothing to you and i'm telling you because I, i work with this i work with this trust me people who are thinking of us why should you like from a worldly point of view how and why should you be sad okay, let me give you another example a few years back there was this uh, football um, manager he was a manager for a football team now imagine he's tanha right i mean these mans earn stupid money he earned a lot of money and they showed his house he had cars mashallah beautiful family and he committed suicide this happened about 7 8 years ago it makes you think of what the heck was going on in that guy's brain from a worldly point of view financially very successful had a family and kids he had money cars you're a manager of a football team it's quite ironic right is because there was one particular actor who starred in a film as a counselor to help someone with their depression he killed himself because of depression how ironic it is as an act you can act all good for the camera but he goes and kills himself because of depression don't be fooled by allah don't be fooled